M0FXB. So we're going to download the latest version of PyStar and put it onto our Jumbo Spot SD card. So go to pystar.uk, then scroll down to the one the part that says downloads, which is here. Click download PyStar. Then you get to this list. Now I always use this one here at the bottom. The, the latest was Feb. Well, the actual date is the eighth of uh, June. So we click this one here. One version one point four. That's the one I use. You'll get the zip file. Just click it and extract it to somewhere where you're going to remember. So then. You want to download this program called Bellina Etcher. It's the one I always use. It works so well. When it opens, it looks like this. So then it's a flash from file. You will select the PyStar RPI V4.1 image. It looks like an image. It's got a little CD in the middle. Double click it and it selects it. Then it will automatically detect the SD card that you've plugged into your um, computer which you have already formatted and then you will click flash after a few minutes it will go all the way to the end and like so click yes it will go all the way to the end and then you then need to add in your um, into that same SD card your card your Wi-Fi your Wi-Fi um, router Sorry, your Wi-Fi password. So the way you do this, you go back to PyStar, and this time you go down and you select PyStar Tools and go Wi-Fi Builder, like so. Should do it. Maybe we've already got it open here. There we are. And then it, this is what it looks like. You put in your username and password. So we'll just put user for the top password but it's the password for your router at home no different than connecting your computer or your phone click submit and it gives you a little file called a WPA file uh, which it will drop here on the left and it will look like this WPA let's put it here and see the way this little white file WPA supplicant so right click that put open file location and then right click it like and send it to and on this computer it will be my boot e drive here on the left see boot ear here on the left so now you have your new image and your new and your wi-fi details on the sd card and now just get that sd card and put it into your jumbo spot once it's in your jumbo spot all you then need to do, let it give it a couple of minutes to boot maybe three or four minutes and just type in Pi dash star in lowercase pi dash star dot local. You can see it here. Click this and it will find your spot. Now mine's already configured, but and it will find it. And then click configuration. It may ask for a password, which is pi dash star as the username, raspberry as the password, R A S P B E R R Y. Go in here and then configure it for whichever mode you want. You don't have to touch these at the top. This one's D-Star mode. OLED screen is the common one. And Devity, you know, we'll just keep it simple. Get your frequency, your call sign in there. If, it's, if you've selected DMR, get your DMR number in there. And then select radio modem type here. See it here? Radio modem. And then... When you apply that, it will give you the chance to choose a reflector. I've chosen reflector one, Charlie. And that's it. And you're ready to go. Hope this helps you um, add your image, Wi-Fi details, and get the latest version of PyStar. 7.3, all the best.